Hi guys, it's Aoife from Fred We See Died Laughing and I'm here with a May book haul. I went a little bit crazy this month and I did buy a good few books. Um, I probably won't buy any more for the rest of the month hopefully. Um, but I don't know, I just decided to treat myself and I got myself a few books. But to start off, I'll just show you two books that I got from the library which I didn't show in my last library book haul. And it is The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. Um, and I love this cover. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And then the other girl, the other girl, the other book I got is The Girl with All the Gifts by M. or Kerry. So these are just two that I still have yet to read that I requested from the library and I got and I can't wait to read them. And now I will show you the rest of the books that I bought this month. And the first book I have is The Crown by Kira Cass. Obviously this is the last book in the selection series or the spin-off of the selection series. I have yet to read it. I'm really excited and really nervous to read it because I'm really scared that my ship won't happen. Um, it's only not very long, saying like 280 pages, not even 300 pages. So I think I'll read this literally within a day when I get it because these are really fast reading anyway, even when they are longer than this. Um, so I can't wait to read it. The next book I have will probably make a lot of people happy. It is Air of Fire. As I finished Crown of Midnight last um, month, I decided I should probably get Air of Fire so I can pick it up soon. Um, so yeah. This book I am really excited to read and it is A Dog's Journey by Bruce Cameron or W. Bruce Cameron. This is a sequel of a book I read at the very start of the year called A Dog's Purpose and it's probably one of my favourite books of the year so far. It's absolutely amazing. If anyone loves dogs I would 100% say to read this book because it's unreal. I just loved it. A Dog's Purpose is basically about a dog called um, Buddy who keeps being reborn. So every time he dies he ends up in the body of another dog who's just kind of been born. Um, and But he still remembers all his past lives and he kind of spends a lot of his lives trying to get back to this one owner he had who he loves with all his heart and he keeps trying to get back to him. And it's just really, really amazing and sad and happy and... It just makes you want to hold your dog really tight and hug them and speaking of which my dogs have just come in. The next book I have I hope will make Sam from Sam's Nonsense, previously Novels and Nonsense, really happy. It is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Sam has just raved and raved and raved about all of Robin Hobb's books and I was waiting for it from the library but it just wasn't coming and as I decided I wanted to spend a little bit of money on books I decided I would just go and get this book because the covers are beautiful for all these series so I'm pretty happy if I like this book to continue on buying the series and just have the whole collection have them all in these beautiful beautiful covers and um, I have no idea really what this is about except that it is a fantasy series I love fantasy series so I'm hopefully I will love this one as well and I finally picked up The Young Elites by Marie Lu. I love Marie Lu's Legend series, but I just haven't gotten around to picking this one up yet. So I decided I might as well um, buy the, this bookmark on it, um, just buy this one. And then if I like this, I can get the next one, which is The Rose Society. And it will just look pretty good next to my Legend series as well on my bookshelf. I also got a book that I won on Goodreads giveaway at the very start of the month and that was Chasing the Stars by Mallory Blackman and um, so I was very lucky enough to be able to get this in a lovely hardcover edition. I actually didn't check what the inside of it looks like so there is it without the disc cover. Um, again I'm not really sure what it's about, I'm pretty sure it's some sort of space journey, um, something like that. Yeah, something to do with space and a romance and a adventure and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. And then I was out today with Katie over at Katie Loves to Read and we picked up a few books. But first of all, Katie actually uh, brought me along her copy of Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And because she has read this, she didn't partic particularly like it. And um, a while ago, I was saying that if she wanted to give it away, that I would gladly take it because I wanted to read it and yeah so she brought that along for me today and I am excited to read this though I'm just so hesitant about the format of this because unlike a lot of people I actually am really put off by the way this is written in like the documents and files and all this kind of stuff I'm just not sure if I'll be able to follow along with the story properly I don't know but there's just something about it that just kind of scares me but I'm hopefully that I'll I'm hopeful that I'll pick it up soon and then hopefully I will enjoy it like everyone else has. 
And then I came across a store as well today that was closing down so they had a few books for really cheap and one of them I had I got was Miracle on Regent Street. This is, I'm not really sure what this is about, the cover of this just really appealed to me, it's just really really cute and it's something about a girl who works in a stock department of a store and she learns that the store is going to be closing down and she kind of gives herself a goal of trying to turn things around for the store and make things better by the 26th of December so um, I think this is one that I'm going to put off until Christmas time and then read it over Christmas because it's obviously going to take place maybe around the um, holiday season so I think this will just be a nice one to pick up around then so yeah. And then another one that I found, which I'm so happy I found because I haven't seen it anywhere and I just randomly walked into this bookstore and it was there for four euro and it is Weird Things Customers Say in Bookstores by Jen Campbell. I've already flicked through this and had a laugh. It is so funny. As you guys probably know, Jen Campbell is a booktuber and this is one of her books and yeah, this is just definitely something that I can just pick up now and again and read a couple of pages and laugh out loud to it. And the very last book I picked up was a complete um, cover by which normally I don't do too much but it is When the Floods Came by Claire Morrill. I don't know really, I just really love the cover of this book. I think I saw the spine of it, picked it up and then I scanned the back of it and I was like oh my god this actually sounds brilliant. So I originally picked it up by the cover but you know the summary of the back did make me kind of make me go and definitely buy it and um, but it's about a girl who is 22 years old and she's lived in an empty apartment building for most of her life because some sort of um virus has left a load of people dead but she's kind of she's pretty happy because her there's loads of food for her to eat she can connect to people online so she's not completely isolated and then her fiance is like making a journey on bike to come and stay with her but then this other man kind of appears out of nowhere and she's kind of entranced by him even though he's really really sneaky about kind of answering questions about himself so she doesn't actually know anything about him and that's just all it all it really tells you at the back but it actually sounds really really good so I'm really excited to read this one. So that is all my books that I got that are now just spread across my floor and um, so yeah I'm really happy I think these are all going to be really good books I'm really excited to read all of them. Uh, please leave a comment to say which books you liked out of this one if you've read any of them if you like them and thank you for watching I'll see you guys again next time bye!